Hello everyone, I'm Freya from the Mac Arena community team. Today I'm here to shed light on a feature many of you have been excited about since we first mentioned it in one of our devlogs, currently codenamed the New Progress System. It'll take over the existing progress path jobs of unlocking Macs and weapons for you to use, and unlike its predecessor, it will contain all of them. Here how it's going to work. Within the new system, all Macs and weapons will be split into categories, currently codenamed Tiers. These are specially designed to suit a specific state of game progression. You'll gradually get access to max and weapons in the higher tiers as you progress within the game and unlock them. To progress and unlock the next tier, you need to acquire and upgrade max and weapons available within the current one. For your actions, you get stars, equivalent to the rank of the thing you've unlocked. So, a rank 3 Ares will provide you with 3 stars. A mech of weapon rank up will add 1 star. Simple. Let's look at an example. To unlock Tier 3 and acquire max or weapons from it, you need to collect, say, 10 stars in Tier 2. So, to earn those stars, you acquire Slingshot at rank 2, Plasma Cannon at rank 2, rank them up 3 times, and there you go. You have 10 stars, and Tier 3 is unlocked. Now, to progress further, you need to unlock Tier 4, which means acquiring max and weapons in Tier 3, and earning, say, 12 stars there. You should also keep in mind an important thing. At this point, ranking a Puma or anything else from Tier 2 won't affect your progress anymore. Next, the cool thing about the new system is that you don't need to max out everything within the tier. You can definitely pick one or two favorites and upgrade them exclusively. However, obtaining more max or weapons within the tier and gradually upgrading them all can be a more accessible option. So pick your own approach on your way to the final tier. Important note, within the new system, crates will provide blueprints for max and weapons in tiers you've unlocked. However, if you have max or weapons previously unlocked on the old progress path, but the tiers they are part are locked, don't worry. You'll maintain access to them, and respective blueprints will continue dropping from the crates. But to unlock the rest of the max and weapons in that tier, you'll need to complete the aforementioned requirements. As for the beloved progress path, it will keep its place in the game, but without max and weapons on it. After the changes, you still be able to collect resources from it within the usual flow. We're sure the next question burning in your mind is when the release date? The new progress system is in the late stages of development, and as we mentioned in one of our previous videos, the launch is planned for several months after the Mac and Weapon Grade update. 